Hi ladies. So today I just want to do a little uh, a little video on how to make neckties for boys. I have two sons. They're not quite the age yet, but um, this was definitely fun to research and look up. So I I researched um, how professionals would make a tie, and um, it was it was a little bit complicated, not much, but it does require a lot of um, material and a lot of the correct material for the inside of the tie. So since I'm making these ties for juniors, junior boys, and younger boys, I'm going to go with the most cost-effective way to make a tie and I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, let's just discuss the, uh, the pattern for the tie. Now this is the pattern that I made up for this necktie here which is 15 inches long. This is for about an 8 year old, 8, 9 I would say. And uh, here I made up a pattern. So I went an inch and a half um, on each side. First I drew a line, a median, and then I measured 15 inches up so I measured 15 inches up and it stopped here and this is the extra that I I needed to tie around the tie which is 7 I'm gonna make it a little longer maybe to around 11 12 probably 11 and um, I went one and a half inches on each side of the line and then I went another one and a half inches on each side because the tie folds in like this at the back okay and I'm going to make that wider so I've determined from this trial I'm gonna make it a little wider and a little longer so that I don't waste my time or material and these are the ties I'm gonna do you saw this one here. I'm going to complete this one. And I'm also going to do another one that's longer than that. And for you want a lining material, um, I'm going with this material. This is a cotton. I am not using um, polyester lining material just because sometimes people consider that cheap. So I'm not going to go uh, making a tie that's a little cheap. <laughs> I'm going to make a quality tie for a toddler. Okay, this is the next one. I really love this fabric. Look at this. It's beautiful. And it's fun for boys. I got this one and I'm going to line it with this material. And then I got this material. It says cowboys all the way. This is nice. I'm gonna line it with this material. I'm using a fat quarter. So um, for these ties, all uh, the 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 tie material, I bought quarter inches of fabric. So this is a quarter inch, quarter inch with a good width, and this is another quarter inch. Um, this doesn't really have a good width, but we'll see how we work with it. And this is a quarter inch also. I'm going to use this one. This is a little thicker, so I'm going to use lining material with this one because this is thicker. And yeah, so let's get going. And um, I'm going to try to show you every step of the way what I do. And the way that the way that I'm doing it in this video is the way that I've determined is the fastest, easiest, most cost-effective way to make a tie. If you want to um, do it the professional way, you might want to do the professional way for someone older, like a, a grown man, you know, an adult, your dad, your uncles, you know, people like that. But um, 
we're going to make some handmade is always good. So let's make some handmade ties, okay? The first thing I'm going to do is um, just put pin this to one of my materials and I'm going to mark it out. So I'm going to mark two of these. I'm going to go a little bit further, a little bit longer than 15 plus 7. And I'm going to go a little bit wider, a little bit wider than one and a half. I'm going to go two inches on each side. Jaden, please come down. And um, I'm going to pin it to my material and cut it out on a slight bias because you want if you're making a tie you're going to want it on on the bias and the bias if you have a material that doesn't have stretch this way or that way because it's cotton the bias is the part that's going to have to stretch so i'm holding one point to the other point you see that stretch that's what a good tie is made of it's always cut on the bias so I'm going to have to lay this material out and cut it slant ways like that. Okay, so I've laid my material out on the long side. And this is a quarter of a yard of this material. And I measured from the tip to where that stops. That's the, that's the 16 inches. Now 15 inches is the length from the nape of the child's neck to just below the belt so that's going to be the, the length of the tie and then I added an extra inch just for good measure and from there I measured seven inches for the wrap around which I tested before and I figured I needed more so I can go up to all the way up to 15 all the way up to 16 on this that would make a longer tie and a better um a better wrap for me so i'm gonna go all the way up to that 17 mark and i'm gonna cut it on see i've laid the pattern on a slight bias i can't get the the whole bias but at least the tie is gonna have a good drape if i cut it that way usually a professional tie is cut on a 45 angle bias so we're going to just go with this way because it's more cost effective and then you have a little bit more if you have a toddler to make. I'm going to make a little tie out of that for my, my, uh, my son out of that part here. So let's cut. I'm going to cut um, up, to the fifth, up to the 17 mark. And I'm going to extend the width of the pattern another inch and a half or so I see I see I can get another inch that way so that's what we're gonna do first okay now I've cut out the new dimensions and I've laid the inside of the tie on the lining of the fabric that I'm gonna use and this fabric is just it's just a normal cotton I'm using both cotton. I'm going to cut out the lining the same way on a slight bias. That's why you see the tie twisted in that direction on the stretch. And let's do that. Okay, here we have Jaden's hair helping me. <laughs> here we have the two uh, layers. I have the layer that's going to be the front of the tie and a layer that's going to be lining the tie. So I have both cut out the same shape. Now what I'm going to do is take this layer and lay it on the top. So we're going to do right sides facing and I'm going to stitch all around. This is going to be on top of it. All right line it up and stitch all around it leaving a little space to turn it over and the space I'm gonna um, leave to turn it over is probably gonna be at the side so let's do that so here I have right sides facing right and I've lined the whole tie up this is about one meter long 
so while I sew this, I'm just going to talk. <laughs> now people say they want to sew, they want to learn to sew and so on. But will it save me money? I I would say sometimes it will save you money. It really depends on what you want to make and uh, what you want to do. So, um, it depends on how you shop. It really depends on how you shop. If you shop sales, you will save your money. I only shop my fabric um, on fabric sales. Back stitch that. Then hold the back here and pull that through. So at every turn you back stitch a little bit. It looks like a quarter of an inch seam allowance. <laughs> Want to cut that back a little bit. And sew right on the edge because when I... When I fold the tie inwards, I want it to be thick enough, you know? Yeah, so most of the dresses that I did, I got my material for like a dollar fifty a yard. No joke. I mean, that's like my dress was like three dollars. So if you think I'm wasting money, I, I mean it's really up to you. But I don't think it's a waste at all if I get a nice fabric that was on sale. And I made a nice dress with it that would otherwise cost me like $50. But in terms of t-shirts and that kind of thing that you can find cheap and easy, for a busy mom, I would definitely go ahead and buy t-shirts. Like I only sew dresses and skirts. And sometimes I do um, custom head covers and that kind of thing. But when it comes to like t-shirts, this one I got thrift store. Thrift, you know. You can find good shirts that way. So it all depends on if you want to learn this skill or not. In the beginning I would say... You would definitely spend a lot of money. So you got to really think about if this is something you want to commit to or not, you know. My machine sounds like it needs oiling. Well, I'm going to finish this and I'll get back to you guys. Show you what's next. Okay. So I finished sewing the whole thing and here at the side is where I left a little hole to turn it inside out. So I stitched all the way around it what are you going and it's do shaping it? up quite nicely now. So what I'm going to do is... What I'm are gonna, you going to do um, with it, Mommy? What I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it over. I'm trimming all the excess fabric off make it nice and neat you know and uh, I'm gonna trim the tip here so that I can when I turn it out I can have a nice tip over there and trim the other side because it's pointed as well and what I'm gonna do is take something pointy um, not sure what that's going to be yet, <laughs> but 
see all this excess? You do not cut the stitching itself. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and trim the excess on the sides. And then I'm going to take something pointy. And this is, a, this is what I'm going to do. Um, I have this closed, okay? So I'm going to just grab a piece of fabric and start pushing. I'm going to push it through the hole that I have at the side there to flip it out, inside out. And I'll keep pulling and pulling. You know what? Let's just do this now. And every good seamstress always has her iron ready to go. But you know what? Today I'm just not that good. <laughs> so when I flip it over, I'm going to have to turn my iron on. Girls, can you be... I have the children in here with me. And he is just getting into everything. The baby's sleeping. Usually I do this on their nap times during their nap times, but I figured I'd just uh, come over here, it's a really good day, really nice and peaceful, and since the baby is sleeping, I got my two hands, I could do something with it, see, and I just need to get this side of it out so from this step you see this I'm making this incredibly easy you can sew this with your hands with a needle and thread hand sewn right so um let me get this tip out excuse me don't do that to your sister Alana Liana, please put that down. Okay, see? Now I got it all ready. What I'm going to do is take it over to my, my ironing you going space to... there and lay it flat. Mommy, what are you doing? I'm Mommy. making a tie. Now I'm going to fold it back to the center like this. And I'm going to fold it in a way that I still maintain the point of the tie. So I'm going to fold it in the middle and press it down like that. Okay, so we did that and we, we gave it a good press on the outside and then we brought everything to the center. So now it looks like this. Now when you're folding it, you got to make sure the line is in line with the point at the top here. Okay, so it must look like that. We're going to give it another iron, but first we are going to, see that, in line with this, so I'm going to put that under here, good. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a needle and thread. And this is the part that you hand sew. You hand sew, stitch it closed in down the center. So that's what I'm going to do. And when we get back, we're just going to tie it onto the clip. All right. Hope you're having fun. <laughs> All right. So I started here. 
Move from there, sweetheart. That's hot. Started there, and I'm going to make a little knot here. And what we're going to do is try to make invisible stitches um, down the center of this tie. So I made my knot, and I'm going to, I think, uh, what you call it is a slip stitch. So it's going to be quite invisible because you're doing it in the back of the garment. Looking pretty good. I steamed it down flat so this is what it looks like after I slip, slip stitched it down the middle. So you can see I can't see any stitches but it's stitched under there. You can see that. See that? And that's a good tie right there. This is what they would do professionally, but they would use a different inside. They would they would use a different lining and a different way of lining it. But since this is for you know a young a junior boy, I'm going to do it this way. And now we're going to I'm gonna show you how to tie it on this is clip. how you put the, the the clip on now I have the tie here the front the length front length is facing me the clip is facing you so the clip end part is facing me so I have the clip open in front of me and the longer portion of the tie is facing me now I'm going to put it on the first end of the clip and I'm going to take, I'm going to hold it there sturdy and I'm going to take the, the uh, big part and wrap it around in front. So here I have this part. We're going to fix that a little later. So I'm holding it tight and what I'm going to do is bring this around like so. Right? And I'm going to take this part here that I brought around and push it into this envelope in front. holding everything everything tightly together. Okay, so let me get push that through there. Oh boy, this is I would think the most difficult part. Okay. There we have it. A tie Clip on tie for junior boys. And because I left 13 out at the, uh, I left 13 out at the back. So I, I got 17 inches. And that shouldn't be too long. And this is what it looks like at the back. Now, the last step of this, this is the last step, you guys. When you're finished and you're fixing it on there, okay? The last step is to just sew the two tips there together. So I'm going to do that with a needle and thread and I'm going to just sew this together and that will be our tie. So it was fun showing you how to do this and I'm going to finish the rest of them and I'll come back and show you what they look like.
it's nice and thick it's a it's a pretty good quality tie for a young one hi everyone it is the next morning and um, I'm in the sewing room right now I showed you the ties that I made I have to make one more so see the clip is in there and I tied the two ends shut I did this with every one of the ties as you can see and they're real they feel like really good quality ties I think they're the weight is very good so I'm going to show you how I put a, the tie on um, because some people just hook it onto the the boy's shirt so I have little Simity here <laughs> what's so funny what's so funny <laughs> he thinks everything is funny okay so Simity has a button here okay so let's see which one looks good on him oh you look very dapper Let's go with the. <laughs> Let's go with the cowboys. Okay, so as you can see here, the clip has a little opening, and what I'm gonna do is push that button through there. So I'm gonna take his neck button. Uh oh, can't fit. This one can't fit. Sweetheart, let me put the tie on. <laughs> let me put the tie. I think his button's a little too big. So it dep it it's going to depend on the size of the button, I I suppose. The small buttons, all you do is push it through that little opening, clip it down. And then when it's on there on the button, you just pull, uh, fix the tie where the, the, um, <laughs> the, <laughs> the things are over there. You like wearing ties, young man? Young man? Young man? <laughs> yeah. So... That's it, you guys. Um, right about now, I'm going to make one more, which is going to be this material. So I'm going to make one more tie, and then I'm going to just give it one more iron, because it's a little crinkled, and I'm going to give it an, a, a, one more press, and box them up and send them away <laughs> okay and you guys are uh, the the little boys I'm, I'm giving it to I hope you enjoy them and you know it's just a reminder that we are thinking of ya okay <laughs> be blessed and have a good day, everybody. Bye.